In this video, we're going to take a look at combining like terms or simplifying algebraic expressions or uh, using the distributive property. We'll throw that in as well. First of all, look at the operation that's going on between the terms here in each of these expressions. We're adding or subtracting. When we're adding or subtracting to simplify, we need to have like terms. In other words, they need to have the same variable or no variable. We cannot combine things that have an x and an x squared, for example. We can't combine those. We can't add those together. They're not like terms. We also can't combine an x and a y. Okay, and one way that you can think about these is like different things. So if you have apples and oranges, well, we can't pile those all together and say we have five apple oranges or whatever. It doesn't work that way. We have five apples and three oranges or something like that. We have to keep those separated. We can't combine them. So let's dig in here and see what we can do with these. Here we have an expression, and again, notice the operations that are going on between these things. We have addition and subtraction. So we'll look for the like terms, and we've got an 8r and a minus 2r, because remember that subtraction is the same as adding a negative. So I'm going to rewrite this, and I want you to see how that negative is going to stick with that 2r, like so. So this is the same thing as this. I just took that and I'm not going to always write it out like that. I'll just do it mentally most of the time. But just to be very clear here, that negative stays with the thing that follows it because adding a negative is the same as subtracting. So we're going to combine the 8r and the minus 2r. So if we have 8r's, subtract or take away 2r's, then we've got 6r. Then we look for other terms that we can combine, and there's a 2 and a 4 here. They're both positive, so that's going to be plus 6. Okay. At this point, we can't combine anything further because this has got R's with it. This does not. There's not 12. And if you try to combine that, you should your brain should kind of say, well, wait a minute. Should I have an R? Should I not have an R? And if you ever find yourself thinking that, then you might be doing something wrong. So be very, very careful with that. So we want to stop here because there's R's there, but not there. All right, let's take a look at this next one here. And in this one, we're going to bring in the distributive property. Remember, the distributive property comes into play when we're multiplying here by something with the what's in the um, parentheses. Holy cow. So we're multiplying what's in the parentheses in this case by 5. So the distributive property says I'm going to take that and multiply it by each thing that's in there. So now we have 3x and then I'm going to take 5 times x so plus 5x and then 5 times that minus 7. I'm going to keep that with just like we talked about up here. So it's going to be 5 times negative 7 which would be minus 35. And if you want to say plus negative 35, that's perfectly fine as well. All right, then we look for like terms. So same variables to the same exponent. Here we have a 3x and a 5x. Combine those together. How many total x's do we have? Well, 8. Remember again, that operation of adding. And we have 8x. And then we've got the minus 35 sitting there. We bring that with because that doesn't have any x's, so we've got to keep them separated just like so. All right, then let's go up to the top over here, see what we can do with this one. This one, we've got more stuff going on. Again, we have a situation where we want to use the distributive property. So let's go ahead and distribute that, and we're going to distribute a negative 11 through there because, remember, it's plus negative 11 that we're multiplying by. So let's rewrite this. So we have negative 2y squared plus 9y. Then we've got negative 11 times y and negative 11 times 6. So negative 11y and negative 11 times 6 would be minus 66. Then look for those like terms. 
Notice, this is a y squared, so we can't combine these two together. However, check this out. We've got a 9y and a minus 11y. Huh, that'll combine. So we're going to have negative 2y squared, and then we've got positive 9y minus 11y. So we're taking away 11. If we had 9, now we're 2 in the hole. So negative 2y, and finally minus 66. Can't combine anything further because we don't have like terms. We've got a y squared, a y, and just a constant. All right, let's take a look at this last one here. And for this one, we have uh, another situation that you might run across. And it's subtracting something that's inside parentheses. So another way we can think of that, we have to take that negative through there. Another way we could think of that is 12x minus negative 1 times 3x plus 5. And I would encourage you to do that because I think that makes it much more similar to this. Typically, people are pretty comfortable with this, but this can kind of throw people for a loop sometimes. So be careful here. Think about it like this, that negative 1 sitting there. Oh, okay, so I just distribute that negative 1 through, so it becomes 12x. And then we've got minus 1 times 3x, so that would be negative 3x. And then we've got minus 1 times 5, that would be negative 5. Okay? And notice how the signs just change there, a little bit of a shortcut if you're comfortable with that. Then we look for like terms. We've got a 12x and a minus 3x, so that's 9x. And then minus 5, can't combine those, no like terms there, so there it is. All right, simplifying algebraic expressions. The key is that when we're simplifying in a situation like this and combining like terms, we look for those additions and subtractions. Then the variable stuff stays the same. Also remember that the like terms have to have the same variable to the same power. So we can't combine this. We can't combine those. We can't combine these situations because we would need to have a, either a variable here or no variable there. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.